Today we are going to make some open face cucumber sandwiches. They're going to be really pretty and delicious. My mama and us used to go to like little um, brunches and we used to have a Colored Valley Homemakers Club and lots of times we would take appetizers and this was one popular thing. You know what I'm talking about, the cucumber sandwiches with the cream cheese. But these are a step above. They got some extra ingredients in them and I know you're going to like it. So stick around and let's get started. All right, we're gonna start chopping up our cucumber and you're gonna wanna dice your cucumber. And I have a seedless cucumber and that way it'll be easy to do. So I'm just going to cut this cucumber. And place it on my dicer. Like that. So you gotta cut the pieces small enough to go in the dicer section. And I think that's plenty big enough to get a good taste of cucumber on the sandwich. So I'm just going right down the middle of the cucumber and then just cutting out little sections to dice. This is really handy if you got to cut up a lot of stuff, and it's good for making dressing too. I got this from a viewer. He was super nice to send it to me. So we're going to put our cucumber in here. That's a whole cucumber. I would say it's about a good cup, a little over a cup, okay? And now we're going to add four ounces of the cream cheese, and this needs to be room temperature, so make sure it's good and soft. So lay that out early. Try not to zap it in the microwave. And then we're gonna put some pepper in here. Not a lot. Some salt, and remember that cheese has got a little salt in it too. And now we're going to take an onion. This is one I cut up the other day, and it don't take a whole lot of this to make it, to flavor this. So just cut a piece off your onion, get the peeling off of it, and this is a grater, um, and you can use a hand grater if you've got a hand grater as well, and we're just going to grate some onion. You just really need, and this is little, see that? It's going to give it a lot of flavor because it's juicy and small. And um, we're just going to put a couple of tablespoons of this in there. Because that's all it's going to need. So that's about all you need. It doesn't take a lot. Get it off of here. And now we're just going to add a splash of vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar. You can use any kind of vinegar you want to. Let's give it two splashes. That's probably about a teaspoon apiece. And now we're just gonna mix this up. So you see, you really need that cream cheese to be soft so you can mix it. And it needs to have plenty of cream cheese in it. We may add more cream cheese since we used that whole cucumber. Now you can always use a mixer to do this, but I just didn't wanna cut my cucumber up too much. I'm gonna go ahead and put the whole block of cream cheese in here because I've used so much um, Cucumber, I'm gonna have to where it's not gonna be thick enough for my sandwiches. It's gonna make it perfect. I'm losing my cucumbers. Get back in there. And you're just gonna smash it until you don't have just a huge hunk of cream cheese left. 
and you've got it mixed up good. And I wouldn't use a mixer because it would chop up your um, cucumber and make your mixture too runny, okay? So I'm about to taste this and see if I got enough black pepper in it. But see the consistency of it now, it's perfect for a sandwich. So we're gonna taste it. Mm -mm, good, that's good. That is delicious, y'all. Don't need anything. The onion's not real strong, but it's there, okay? And really that's all you need. You don't want it to be overpowering, and if you're not careful, it will be. I had to go get white bread because me and Chris never eat it. But back in those days, that's all mama bought. So I'm gonna take a biscuit cutter and I'm gonna cut out some circles. Lord, when we were kids and we went to the gatherings with mama, we loved these things. It's funny cause Chris's mama, Virginia, Chris's mama, Virginia remembers her uh, family reunion so well when she was a kid because they had white loaf bread there. And she never got a piece of white loaf bread because all her mama made was biscuits and cornbread. And she said every year when it was time to go to the family reunion, she got so excited because she knew she was gonna get a piece of white loaf bread and a sandwich. Isn't that funny? As a kid, that's what she loved so much. Okay. I, I have these biscuit cutters online that you can get, and it's a whole set, and you can make, you know, whatever size sandwich you want to make, but this is about bite size. These are really too small to me, but you could make them that little if you wanted to, but I chose the um, second to the smallest. So remember, if you want to, you can go on our website anytime and um, see what my favorites are and get them so that you can have them in your kitchen. I remember when I first started the show, I didn't have no, nothing like this, but buddy, uh, have I enjoyed a lot of these gadgets that people have actually sent me because they enjoy them in the kitchen. Now, yes, we waste bread. You know what you could do with it? Make some dressing or some bread pudding. Do what you want to with it, but try not to waste it. You can make breadcrumbs out of it in the air fryer. You could make croutons out of it. You can make bread pudding out of it. You can make dressing out of it. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this bread. So don't throw it away. All right, so you're just gonna lay your little sandwich rounds. And then we're gonna open a jar of pimentos. <laughs> Let me get out my little jar thing. I got one of these, the Swaggerty Farms that uh, sponsor us with their sausage sent me one of these jar openers. Um, when they sign me up, it sure does make it much easier to open a jar. So thanks to Swaggerty's, right? We're going to put just a few of these pimentos out on a paper towel. Right here. And then I'll use them to decorate the tops. And the pimento adds a lot of flavor to it as well. So... This is a good little um, appetizer that you can have at any special occasion or shower or anything really. And people will really enjoy it. It's light, it's refreshing, and uh, everybody will rave over it. And it's super easy to make. So you're just going to put your cucumber topping on it like that. Give them enough to taste it. So a good teaspoon. It's about what we're putting on there. Have you ever had these, Chris? No. No? Mm -mm. I want you to try them for, for sure since you've never had one because this was really a big deal. All the women know about this. Most of the 
viewers that watch this are going to remember serving cucumber sandwiches. And now some people just took the cream cheese and spread it on the bread and put sliced cucumbers on it. But now mixing it up like this makes it even better because you got uh, a few extra ingredients in there, like the onion and the uh, salt and the pepper and all that stuff. So it really, in the vinegar, it really, you know, brings it to a different level. And now you're just going to take a pimento. And now if you wanted to go all out, you could put a sprig of um, parsley or something on there too. But I don't have any fresh herbs, so I'm not doing that tonight or today. All right, y'all. If uh, you wanted to, you could always buy a pair of tweezers to use in the kitchen for stuff like this. It would make it easy to put toppings on. But now mom always just used her fingers, and that's pretty much what I do. But just giving you that little tidbit of information. I know y'all see a lot of these chefs and cooks use tweezers. but um, And it's smart. It's just another one of those gadgets that if you've got in the kitchen, you can absolutely use it. So there you have it. Cucumber sandwiches like Mama made. Yummy yum. And we got lots of it, so I'm going to have to send some to the neighbors. All right? We're going to give them a try. So um, I'll try one and Chris will try one. All right. So this is one bite, huh? Well, it's kind of two bites, ain't it? I know, isn't that good? Just a light, refreshing little sandwich. You can see why the ladies like them, can't you, Chris? Mm -hmm. Mama always used to eat cucumber sandwiches. Oh, she did? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we grew up eating, um, Mama made these, and she would make us a pineapple sandwich with mayonnaise with white bread, and she would make us a banana sandwich with white bread with peanut butter or mayonnaise, whichever one we wanted. And uh, so we would eat a lot of different things, wouldn't we, Chris, and white bread. All right, I'm going to give them a try. <laughs> Yummy. Mm-mm, mm-mm. So delicious. That is really good. Now, we never toasted our bread to make these. We just put them on soft white bread, okay? And I'm doing it just like Mama did. I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all tell us if you've ever had a cucumber sandwich. And tell us where you had cucumber sandwiches. If it was at a shower or a tea party or, you know, what you, or if you just ate them at home. All right. We'll see you next time on Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya. Cook it up like mama used to do So go on now